Today I'm going to talk about a movie I, 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 I longed to see for a number of years, especially, you know, when I was young and I was looking at the, all these uh, catalogs and newspapers, not newspapers, but magazines at least, uh, about horror movies and the Eurocult. And finally, uh, many years later, uh, this one was released on DVD, Andropopa... <laughs> Andropopa... Andropopagus. Andropopagus. It's, it's a hard title to pronounce, really, for me, who's, who's, who's not... Uh, not, I'm Swedish, you know, that explains everything. What I like about this one a lot is the primitive atmosphere. Uh, it's it's such a basic, simple story. It, it almost becomes, you know, almost a parody of simple stories. I mean, first of all, the... the, the 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 first scene with the two German tourists getting killed in a quite Jaws inspired scene always felt tacked on afterwards. It's like they, some distributor, or someone somewhere said that okay, we need two more kills just you know to keep things up because the movie itself takes a while until it starts going and deliver the gore. Uh, it's directed by Joe D'Amato, who's one of the more uh, underrated Italian directors. Uh, so far, um, he's, he's, he's mostly famous for his adult movies, of course, but he made a couple of movies that are, you know, they, they are masterpieces. For example, uh, Beyond the Darkness or or, or this one. I, I won't even pronounce the title again. Um, he had a sensibility which, strangely enough, never came forward in any other way than than his some of his uh, softcore movies from the 80s and some of, of some some of his horror movies i even like uh, erotic nights of the living dead which is a quite crappy movie but it has a couple of scenes which is pure zombie poetry they're so beautiful they're so so much atmosphere and this one has a lot of atmosphere too especially of okay if you if you, if you don't even think about those two german tourists in the beginning i wonder what they do today I really, um, maybe they're seeing this, I hope so, or watching this, I, I don't know. But then it almost becomes like a gothic horror movie. Uh, people tend to forget that it's, it's, it's quite few scenes in a movie that's set, you know, on, on this island or outside uh, on the fields, on the, uh, on the, in, the, in, the, in, in the environment. A lot of it is set in... Uh, catacombs or in this uh, fantastic villa they found which I, I guess is shot in Italy and not in Greece I don't know uh, it's dark and it's moody and it's quite I wouldn't say cynical but it's um, it's uh, it's melancholic the whole movie is quite melancholic it's a sad story from the beginning and how this man played by George Eastman like a, also known as Aka, is, is, is my short for, also known as um, uh, Luigi Montefiore, his real name, of course. Uh, uh, quite good actor, I think, he, and his writing is so-so. But he, he he's in this uh, quite disturbing trauma that makes him go crazy and makes him, I guess, eat the whole island. Because there's no explanation, really, to who or why everyone is gone. You know, this, I think, is... One or two people who's quite shocked and probably, f you know, they fear for their lives so they're hiding. But he, he must have eaten everyone. Uh, so in the end, it becomes more of a quite arty slasher. Um, okay, arty was a, maybe a big, quite an exaggeration there, but it's, it's a slasher uh, set in a gothic environment with some of the goriest gore, the most extreme gore I've seen in quite a mainstream movie. Uh, I mean, you have the famous famous scene where he eats the the the, the baby, yeah, you know, direct from the from the belly of the mother, which was I think is a was a rabbit or something they used, uh, which still today packs a punch. Uh, later on, you have a probably one of my favorite scenes in Italian horror where. The two girls, the two surviving girls are up on the attic uh, on this villa and uh, Luigi Montefiore reaches down through the roof and grabs one of the, the girls in the hair and drags her up and of course bites her throat so blood is spurting everywhere. That that whole scene and the the scene after scene afterwards where it falls down into the well is excellent filmmaking. It's 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 quite cheap. It's quite uh, uh, exploitative, but it's also a uh, it's it's it 
it it it feels so classy. I don't know. I, it's, I, I know it's a stupid word to use in a movie like this, but it feels so classy. It's like this these people are working themselves up all the time from the sea up through the island into the villa and up through the attic and then down again it's like a constant constant uh, constant climbing and then everything falls down and uh, dear luigi starts to eat himself instead oh spoiler sorry for that um I did some research before I, I recorded this video uh, on YouTube. Uh, I checked other reviews and it seems like many people seem to, they want to be assholes when start when they're mentioning this movie. They want to see it as a bad movie. I can agree it's a quite trashy movie or a cheap movie or a exploitative movie. It doesn't, it's not big art, but it, 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 it's really, it really hits you in the face because it's so grim. Uh, it's also called the Grim Reaper, which is very, very, very. It's a very fitting title because uh, Luigi Montefiore is like this uh, mythological creature. He's not even human anymore. He, he has transformed into this cannibal monster who just wants to eat everyone who comes to the island. And for me, as a horror fan, and I like Eurocult, I like I like this Italian, some call it trash, I don't call it trash, I think it's class more, it's more class than trash. Uh, for me, it's, it's, it, uh, it's very close to uh, some kind of poetry, it's some kind of, uh, it, it, it it makes us look into ourselves, you know, to, to look at those deepest, bizarrest fantasies or thoughts we have, because movies like uh, Anthropophagus makes them come alive. You know, they're so extreme, they're so insane, that we, we need them, you know, to cope with life, or I need it to cope with life. Uh, Okay, I'm getting pretentious here. I know, I know. But Anthropophagus is a good movie. It's, you no, know, it's not a good movie. It's a great movie. It deserves more attention as a serious horror movie. Um, I, I suggest you to watch it. Get this DVD. And uh, you can also find Absurd, also called Horrible, which is the... It's not a sequel, but it's called a sequel. It's basically also a slasher, a ripoff of Halloween. Also made with uh, Luigi Montefiore as the killer and Joe D'Amato as the, as the director. It's not on the same level of quality at all. It's quite boring sometimes. But even that movie has a couple of these extremely primitive scenes that makes you, you know, you, you feel a bit agitated. You feel like you want to talk about it. You want, you want to show, I want to show this movie to my mother, but she would never see it anyway. Um, I don't know what to say anymore, really. I, I love Anthropophagus and it's 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 getting better and better for each time. And I think you should see it, really. I really think you should see it. Uh, uh, fuck it. <laughs> Have a nice day.